Hey guys, so I'm at the end of my day, as you could tell by the wear of the makeup and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to make a video, and it's going to be kind of hard for me to explain this because it's something I even have a hard time comprehending myself. But I've always used YouTube as like um, a form of therapy, kind of, you know, like someone to talk to when everyone else is getting tired of hearing me talk about it. Um, Recently, I've changed anxiety medications, and I was doing great before my other anxiety medication, but the only problem was is that I was having really bad side effects um, from my back. It felt like I had a 100-pound weight on my shoulders at, at all times, um, and I just basically eventually decided to choose my physical health over my mental health, which sucks because, honestly, I was feeling the best mentally I'd ever felt in a very long time. Um, so anyways, I came off of that, and if anyone has ever come off of a medication for anxiety or depression or anything, you know that it is not fun. Um, so instantly, my anxiety came back full, full-fledged, and I hadn't felt that way in a year or so. So it was kind of scary, and um, when I get really bad anxiety, I think about dying, which makes sense. Um... Because when you have bad panic attacks and you have anxiety, you get the symptoms of almost like you're dying. Your heart beats really fast. Your chest feels constricted. You can't breathe, you know, so on and so forth. And um, then I think about death. And you know what? I think I do that because um, I'm a problem solver. Most, thing, most things in life I, I can solve. Most things in life I find answers to and I find ways to fix them. But death is the one inevitable thing that happens to us all. We all pass away one day. Um, and there's you can't you can't solve death. It's gonna ha it, it's inevitable, and um, no one really knows what happens afterwards. You can you can have a belief. You can be an atheist and believe that one thing happens, or be a godly person and believe another thing happens. But none of us truly know. Maybe we have personal beliefs, but we don't have factual beliefs. You know, things um, religions based in faith and. Um, lack of religious affiliation is is you know based on the fact that there isn't proof phys scientific proof so no one really knows um but yeah it's always bothered me i think it's bothered me because i've had a lot of people pass away in my life at a very early age um god my skin is just terrible i've had two friends commit suicide a friend died of cancer um, my cousin passed away last year around this time, which is probably why I haven't thought about death in like a year. I haven't had this bad ongoing, um, OCD thing with death for like a year, but I think it's the time of year because she passed away right around this time, in January, February area. And, um, and yeah, and, uh, you know, I watched my dog pass away, which, you know, watching an animal or a person or anybody just pass away is kind of hard because you actually see the life leave them it's just a weird experience but anyways um so it made me when i when i start thinking about the stuff i like to search on on google and i like to look up stuff about atheism and agnostic and different religions and buddhism because you know i've never really had a set idea on religion for the most part i am someone um who um uh, i believe that there is something else out there i believe as humans uh, our physical body does not have the ability to perceive and understand all that there is. And so to be so conclusive and so sure of um, whether there is something else or whether there isn't, I think is almost a little arrogant. I don't mean to put anybody down. I, I mean, if you're a Christian, then I totally respect you. And if you're an atheist, I totally respect you. And I hope that you guys learn to respect each other because I see a lot of fighting and that really pisses me off as someone who's kind of in the middle grounded area. And, um, I've, I've spent a lot of my time breaking up uh, Christians bashing atheists or atheists ridiculing and demeaning Christians or vice versa with other religions and whatnot. But um. I guess you would call me agnostic, an agnostic theist. There's so many labels around, but for the most part, I lean towards the idea that there's some place else after this, a higher level of consciousness or something that we all go to. And um, But I'm unsure. I don't claim to know anything, so i mostly agnostic. But um, I thought I'd just make this video ranting a little bit, just downloading, because I really don't want to talk to my parents about it. I don't need to stress them out with it. And... 
maybe I'll look back on it in a year and be like, hey, you know what? I'm not too nervous about that anymore. I'm doing good. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of questions. I get some emails and stuff from people always ask me what my religion is. And I just wanted to kind of say agnostic. That's, that's what I qualify myself as. Um, I was actually thinking about going to a UU church, which is, sorry if I fuck up this word, I just learned about it, Unitarian Universalist or something along those lines. Basically, it's a church that... Um, doesn't have a scripture it doesn't have it doesn't have a strict belief in a god or anything like that it's basically just a bunch of people ranging from wiccans to buddhists to atheists to agnostic getting together talking about humanity talking about loving each other and being kind and um doing humanitarian work and whatnot so because i've always wanted to find a place to belong it's hard when you're in the middle you know atheists have their own collection of people that agree with them and you know chat forms and stuff that they can talk to and religious people have churches and us agnostics are kind of stuck in the middle of not really having a set place. Um, so I was thinking about checking out a UU church next to me, and I'll tell you how that goes if I decide to do that. My mom offered to come with me. Sorry about that. Someone's messaging me. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of me just saying I'm agnostic. Hi, nice to meet you. And um, asking people to be nicer to each other. You know, there's just as many dumb atheists as there are dumb Christians, and there's just as many intelligent atheists as there are intelligent Christians. I have met, I have met, read, listened, heard, and seen of brain surgeons and chemists and engineers and flight pilots and scientists and astronomers who are Christian and same goes for atheists and whatnot. Um, I hate the idea that the things that you believe somehow dictate your intelligence and I think we've become very cruel and intolerant towards each other and it's actually one of my biggest pet peeves. So this is kind of me just saying Hi, I'm agnostic. Hi, I have anxiety if she's at the moment. And hi, please be nice to each other. So I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry, I look like poop. Um, and my earring is like falling off. Oh, that's weird. Use a lip ring. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And um, peace and love each other.